Oh my gosh, YouTube. So we are finally home from Bali. It took like two days worth of time. There's a 13 hour time change in the right direction. 26 hours of flying, a few hours of layovers, but we are finally back in Columbus and we're gonna train because the Arnold is in like 24 or 25 days and it's a huge event for us. We've got a group workout. Obviously we will be at Isolator Fitness Booth all three days, start to finish. We are not the type of people to just show up for a few hours for an event. We are there setting up, we are there taking down, we are there beforehand, we are there as long as we have to be. So, very excited about the Arnold coming up. We just gotta get our butts in shape now. So Josh is in the Apple store. I'm just sitting in the car because it's pouring down rain, it's cold, it's 40 degrees out right now, and I'm used to Bali weather. Uh, first world problems, I suppose. But Josh is in the Apple store. He had to switch out his new Mac that he got. Um, for some reason it was like not, I don't know, who knows about the Mac. So. He's in there, we're gonna grab some food. It's 9 p.m., we landed uh, today at like 1 p.m., um, got the cats, got home, took a few hour nap. We're gonna go grab some food and then kill the gym. But what is nice is yours truly, Josh and Sarah Bomer, have created a stimulant-free pre-workout. So for your late night workouts, you can still take pre-workout and not feel like you're going to not be able to sleep. So that's what we've got today is, I'm doing the peach mango today. Um, and the link will be right here if you wanna order, right here, the link. <laughs> so these people at the mall think I'm crazy because I'm like doing this and I'm talking to the camera. And, awkward no it's all right so um i have glute day today going to put all of my travel carbs travel food everything to good use that's what i highly recommend after you travel and just get the blood flow back into the legs our first flight was 10 hours our second flight was 14 and then we had just an hour and a half from philly to columbus excuse me but we're ready we're back we're gonna put our carbs to good use our calories get the legs the blood flow kill cardio and just get right back on track get ready for the Arnold we didn't go too crazy in Bali um, as far as food we actually kept it fairly healthy however it's it is different foods and we weren't training we were still we lifted a few times throughout the fit workshop we also climbed a volcano and we did a cycling tour we did yoga a few times we were very active we went surfing twice we were very active but we weren't necessarily lifting and training like we usually do so pretty excited to get back to life back to your reg regularly scheduled program so that's what we're gonna do I've got glutes Lord really knows what Josh is doing we're gonna follow my workout today and kill it then maybe do some cardio not quite sure on the cardio thing yet we'll just see how we feel after we lift and get back to the swing of things so we'll see you in the next clip which will probably be either food or at the gym can't decide yet <laughs> you'll see obviously we'll see you soon a lot of people ask me what you should do for your warm-up, and this is a great one for glute day. Just grab the bar and do three sets of ten deadlifts with just the bar. Or if you're doing squats, start off with half your weight for your max on your squats, or half the weight that you're going to be doing for your squats. Simply incorporating non-weighted or low-weight movements of the movements that you're actually going to be doing can really help warm up your body for the rest of your workout. So next I will be doing weighted deadlifts. So I did the non-weighted movement of the, just the bar. Now I'm adding all of the plates that I need. Add the clips, make sure we're doing that for safety. The first exercise that we will be doing today for the glute isolation day is deadlifts. I personally like to start with deadlifts because it is my most challenging lift. So I like to do it when I'm the strongest, which obviously is at the beginning of my workout. I'm not a deadlifting expert. If your form is better than mine, obviously continue to do that. However, with deadlifts, you just want to make sure that you keep your back as straight as possible. And if you're doing deadlifts like I am, the bend in the knees. If you're doing straight-legged deadlifts, obviously keep your legs straight. 
Once you finish your deadlifts, you obviously want to go as heavy as possible on those, we will move into a giant superset. So you're going to start with good mornings, go into weighted squats, then body squats, and kickbacks. And when it comes to good mornings, you want to keep your heels glued to the floor and really focus on pushing your butt back away from your body. That will really help isolate the glute movement and isolation. Next, we're going to go into weighted body squats. Use the same weight that you used for the good mornings. Again, I am not a squat expert. If you are if you're better at squats, keep doing the form that you're doing. I'm continuing to better myself every single day, which you guys should be doing as well. So once you finish your um, heavy squats or you know weighted squats that you were doing, we're going to move into body weight squats. And this is just a good way to pump more blood into the muscle, really fire the glutes up, and then after that, I will move into cable, I'm sorry, I will move into band kickbacks, and I'm using the Bomar Bands, which you can get on bomarbands.com. I'm using the extra light ones, just because it is at the end of this giant superset. And yeah, I'll also show you guys a different angle in the next clip of the exact same superset. So this is my second round. The next clip will be the third round of the superset. You want to take about three to four minutes rest in between each superset because there are so many movements and just give your body the rest that it needs and make sure you're drinking a ton of water. The next superset that you guys will want to do in this glute isolation workout is the hip abductor. So you're going to start with 10. You want to go really heavy and really lean forward. Sometimes you might feel this if you switch and actually face the pad on the back. Just kind of depends on what you guys feel. Definitely try it out. I can feel it in either position. Um, it's just a lot less awkward when you do it this way. So once you're done with those, you will go into your band walks. I used the same band from earlier. Just put it on my feet and then crisscross. You really want to lead with your knee when you do these on the leg that's actually moving. That will really help isolate the glutes. Do 10, 8 to 10 on each leg and then walk back. All right, so last up in the entire workout will be another superset, and you're going to start with D 
deep goblet squats. So I like to just use the same machine for this entire superset. That way I don't have to hop back and forth between a bench, a machine, all the fun stuff. So if you have this machine at your gym, definitely make use of it and utilize it in the way that I am. If not, you can put two benches together, put your feet on both benches and do that, or different box jumps, whatever you can to just get yourself off the ground. That way you can drop that dumbbell below your feet. So you're gonna do 10 of those and then you're gonna switch, Use put the pad up, and you're gonna do eight push downs on the glute machine, or it's actually the assisted pull on machine, but you can make it into the glute push down machine, which I don't even know if that's what it's actually called, but that's what we are calling it today. You really wanna focus on pushing down with your heel. It's okay if your foot comes up, your stationary foot, like mine is doing. Just make sure you really feel it in your glute. You might have to reposition your foot to be angled, your toes angled in, your toes angled out, whatever way you feel it in your glute the most. And then when you're done with your right leg, you're gonna to move to your left leg. It doesn't really matter which leg you start with. It is actually good to alternate between um, your starting leg as well. And then when you're done with that, you're gonna hop down and do 30 jumps on the dumbbell that's sitting on the ground. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys another angle of the last superset that I just showed you. It's the exact same, you're still gonna do the deep goblet squats, the pushdowns, and the dumbbell kicks. However, this is just a different angle that way you can see how straight my back is, how deep I am going, the whole nine yards. Make sure you, again, are taking three to four minutes rest in between these supersets as they are very challenging and drink a lot of water. 